and good afternoon. Here is the news at four. First, the highlights. Governor Son Wolu identifies a need to focus on non-oil alternatives to charging head of service for government sector. Quarantine United States shuts the sea over possible airstrike in Ukraine. And in sports, Super Eagles, Ademola Lukman gets nomination for Serie A Forward of the Year. And now the details, I am Akan Usen. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwulu has identified the need to focus on boosting the on oil alternatives that will aid full diversification of the national economy. Governor Sonwulu said this is more critical than ever as the nation grapples with the inevitable realities of macroeconomic reforms being implemented by the government. The governor stated this while delivering the 36th Convocation Lecture of the Yaba College of Technology, Yabatech, with the theme, Developing Exportable Alternatives for Nigeria's Economic Recovery. He said decades of dependence on importation of finished goods and export of a single commodity had made foreign exchange the sole determinant of the nation's economic stability. Governor Sonwolu emphasized the need to harness export potential and develop non-oil commodity markets as the nation gradually makes its way into the phase of recovery, adding that this will balance the shortfall in foreign exchange earnings. Renowned social critic and human rights lawyer Femi Falano has commended Governor Babajide Sonwolu and the general manager of the Lagos State Neighborhood Safety Agency, LNSA, for their efforts to keep Lagos safe and secure. Falano gave the commendation during his visit to the headquarters of LNSA at Boladeo Shudi, acknowledging the efforts of the Lagos State government in the area of community policing through the agency. He expressed his surprise at the various equipment and manpower that the LNSA is using for community policing across the metropolis, promising to support the agency in its bid to get better and actualize its mandate. Earlier, the general manager of LNSA, Yves Balade Oyekong, while welcoming the revered human rights activists to the agency, outlined the mandate and responsibilities of the agency. Oyekong said the strength of the agency lies in its spread and grassroots knowledge of the officers who effectively operate in their localities with the aid of advanced technologies. He also said the agency has widened its scope of operations with the establishment of the Marine Corps, the Forest Rangers, and the Forensic Units, among others. Osho State Governor Adimola Adiliki has approved 75,000 Naira as a new minimum wage for civil servants in the state. Commissioner for Information and Public Enlightenment, Kolakpo Alimi, in a statement noted that the approval followed the receipt of the Public Service Negotiation Committee's report. He said the implementation of the new minimum wage for Oshun workers is in tandem with commitment to social justice, economic growth, and enhanced living standards for its teeming workers and citizens alike. Alimi urged all civil servants to up the service delivery by endlessly seeking innovative solutions to improve public service in ensuring transparency and accountability for the growth and development of the state. And now to the rest of the stories. Head of the Civil Service of the Federation, D.D. Walsin Jack, has unveiled an online portal to enhance the accessibility of government circulars for civil servants. Speaking at the lodge in Abuja, Walsin Jack described circulars as essential tools for governance and administration within the civil service. She no stated that the circulars provide direction, clarify policies, and ensure that decisions are communicated consistently across the service. Whilst in Jack stressed that the new compendium of circulars will improve transparency, efficiency, and effectiveness in the civil service, adding that the initiative reflects a commitment to modernizing governance.
Plato State Governor Caleb Muftuang has received the report investigating the collapse of a school building in Jos, which occurred on July 12. Governor Muftuang commended the committee's chairman, Dan Ladi Matawal, and other members for their thorough and insightful work. He described the report as a critical guide for government action. It will be recorded that the collapse of the two-story school building Saint Academy in the Busa Buji community in Jos North local government area claimed 22 lives with about 154 persons trapped. And now to foreign news, the United States has shot its embassy in Ukraine's capital, Kiev. Due to specific information of a potential significant air attack amid jitters in the capital over possible Russian retaliation a day after a big Ukrainian strike. The Italian and Greek embassies said they had also closed their doors after the unusual United States warning, while the French embassy remained open but urged its citizens to be cautious. Air raid sirens briefly sounded in Kiev as the Air Force told people to seek shelter because of a missile threat, while senior officials told Ukrainians not to ignore the alert. No way from all that now, sports. Super Eagles forward Ademola Lukman has been nominated for the Forward of the Year category at the prestigious Grand Gala del Calcio Awards following his outstanding performances for Atalanta last season. The 27-year-old, who is also in contention for the 2024 CAF Men's Player of the Year Award, will compete against Inter Milan duo Marcos Thuram and Lautaro Martinez, as well as AC Milan's Rafael Liao for the honor. Luke Grant's nomination comes after a remarkable season that saw him emerge as Europe's most productive attacking player in the later stages of the 2023-24 campaign, registering 14 goals contributions from April onwards. And that's all for the news at 4. Do not drink and drive. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on Exa Traffic Radio 961, Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.9 FM, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. On YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on wwwtrafficradio 961 NG. Did you know that the Songwulu administration strengthened alliance with 200 representatives from various women-focused NGOs in the state as part of efforts to alleviate the economic plight of women residents in the state? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwulu has identified the need to focus on boosting the non-oil alternatives that will aid full diversification of the national economy. Head of service of the civil head of pardon that head of the civil service of the Federation DD Wilson Jack has unveiled an online portal to enhance the accessibility of government circulars for civil servants. We also told you that the United States has shot its embassy in Ukraine's capital, Kiev, due to specific information of a potential significant air attack amid jitters in the capital over possible Russian retaliation a day after a big Ukrainian strike. And in sports, Super Eagles forward Ademola Lukman has been nominated for the Forward of the Year category at the prestigious Grand Gala de Calcio Awards following his outstanding performances for Atalanta last season. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Mujid. Ololadi, I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good afternoon.